Hello guys, we continue browsing the code of Eddy Server Management open source software. A few lessons left, I have in my list a few topics and topic of today is validation rules. I want to show you two interesting examples from that code. So in the firewall rule controller, there is request validation and I want to focus on these two lines. First, I want to show you enum validation rule with enum class, which is pretty simple. And then I want to show you a custom validation rule called firewall port and other custom validation rules in this repository. So first, if you have enum class, which you may use for typical standard options for something. So for example, in this case, firewall rules in the create form, they load the options for that rule action class. And then in the store method, they immediately validate them according to the same enum. And that enum is really simple. So app server firewall rule action, they didn't even create the enum folder or something like that. It's just available allowed rule actions, allow, deny or reject. And then those three are passed, as I said, in the create form and validated in the store. So if someone passes the rule not in that list, they will get an error of invalid option for that field. So that's another usage of PHP enum classes that you may use for validation as well. And then another example, as I said, is custom validation rule firewall port, which you can generate by doing PHP artisan make rule firewall port. I would personally suffix that with firewall port rule at the end so it would be clear the purpose of the class, but that's my personal preference. And I will show you the newer syntax of that custom validation rule. I think it appeared in Laravel 9 or maybe late Laravel 8 and it kind of became a standard for newer projects, but maybe you haven't used that yet. So let's take a look at how firewall port looks like and what's inside. So when you launch the command PHP artisan make rule, Laravel creates that method for you called validate with those parameters by default. And value is what is passed automatically to that rule. And here the author validates firewall port according to several rules about ports in general. And that's why it is moved into its own validation rule class because it's a few rules in one with different error messages, but around the same topic of firewall port. So if we have numeric value and it's not within the range, then the error message is this. And the newer syntax that I mentioned is dollar fail, which then returns that message into the controller. And notice that all the validation messages are with double underscore for future translations. That's a very good practice to have in general because you never know when your project goes international. So yeah, one validation sub rule, this validation error. Then if it's not numeric and we do have colon, but more than one colon, then it's invalid format attribute just invalid. Then otherwise we have from port and to port, which is a range. And then we check that range. So if the range is in invalid format, we return this error message. And we also check separate parts of to port and from port. So that is all grouped into one custom validation rule. Without custom validation rule, probably we would need to list all of those separately comma separated somehow in the form request class or request validate. So a few validation rules grouped into one with custom class. It's a very good example. And then there are more custom validation rules inside of that repository. So I will link that in the description below and you can browse around app rules for DigitalOcean token, for example, for JSON string, for example, public key and stuff like that. And also validation is such a big topic in Laravel that on Laravel daily com, I have huge amount of tutorials, course lessons and videos about validation specifically. So I will also link that in the description below. For example, less known tips about validation form request store and update, same or separate, database transactions, how to bypass validation, try catch, customize messages and more stuff. So you can plan a few hours of your time to read those tutorials about validation. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.